Hello everybody, and welcome to the latest Worlds is Easy D livestream. Today we are back once again after a week's hiatus playing some Sivian. This is our very lengthy ZZT RPG from 1995 by Mopingos that has some very questionable design decisions today, and honestly some of them were pretty questionable back in 1995, but nonetheless it's a beloved classic. When we when we left off last time, we ex we actually still haven't finished exploring the entire town. We explored this main town board. We still never went north, which is more town. Yeah, it's it's super ambitious for the time it came out. It looks like a game from 1995, where it's we got some special colors and we're just gonna make solid blocks of them. A little bit of shading here in this this tiny lake. Yeah, we are currently, let's see, we're trying to get keys. I forget why, but we did see the explanation last time. And so we only need two more. And if this was a game that knew what scope creep was, we would get those two keys, do what we do with those with all the seven doors, and the game would probably end there on the spot. It would probably be better for it. But Instead, where? How far are we? Board-wise, we're like a third of the way done. We're probably not gonna finish this game here this week either. But we should definitely get into the back half of the game for sure. I would definitely divide this game into the the key collecting part and the post key collecting part. There will be more keys, but it's not these keys. It'll be a new set of keys. But that's enough of that. Let's uh. See what's what's going down here. For one thing, I did purposely save right next to this girl who I forgot. She lost her doll. We found the doll. We never returned the doll. Let's return the doll. My doll, my doll. Thank you so much for getting my doll. Here, my brother found these in the woods. It's my thanks. Bye. And we get a handful of gems. Not a lot. And then we get the the, the continued immersion that these characters are like people and they don't just exist to provide quests for the player. She's talking to her little dolly here. Where is she going though? She says she's going home. But the only homes over here are there's the farmhouse. Does that have any assassins inside still? Yeah, I left a bunch of assassins in there, so I hope she doesn't live there. There's... there's the mines over here, so I hope she doesn't live there. There's a graveyard to the south, and then there was that, like, abandoned property. Which is now our property, actually, so... She's probably not going that way either, she's just wandering off into the wilderness, never to be seen again. But now that that quest has been resolved, we can head north finally. But let's spend some money over here. Can you buy health in this game? I don't think you can. We can get torches. We, we have 200 torches. We are set on torches. How did we get 200? That seems like quite a bit. Got a nice amount of ammo, or arrows as this game will call them. The key. We bought the hoof ropes and hooks, we got our gossip, and we continue to be shot down on our request for a date. Okay, can't buy help. Oh no, that's right, we gotta go to the pub, obviously. We need food for healing. That's the prison. Is the prison next door to the pub? Oh no, that's right, there's the second shop too. Food, two gems, eight health. That'll work. Here you go. Some delicious mouth-watering chicken. Premium chicken it is. And all you'll find is the best food around here. Thank you, Joan. It's... I'm going to just save my money here and load a save afterwards. Let's see what all these great options are. First of all, we can buy a live dragon. The Fierce Dragon. He'll be a great help since he has a great hunger for any kind of flesh. Thank you, Joan. This good boy. D 
you can you can buy a dragon. That's all you can do is is kill it or be killed by it. Buy a ride? Oh, actually, let's do the shooting range first. I vaguely remember what the ride is. Instructions on range one: try to hit the targets on the back wall for a handsome reward. On range two: shoot the moving target, so it will shoot the stationary targets, giving you more ammo. Hurry up and hustle through the transporter. You only have one minute to play. Thankfully, this game isn't so cruel as to make this shooting gallery mandatory in any way. Can I hit a target, please? There we go. I, I guess I'm being successful. Is that duplicator not working because there's a fake wall? We also get this elaborate thing, which is... I guess a lot like the password screen at the start of the game. Oh, I see. Well, that sucked, actually. Oh my goodness. Alright, forget it. Don't need any of that. Uh, torches, ammo, more food. Alright, let's buy a ride. Two gems. Get ready for the ride, but again, the door before it closes. Ah, okay. What a great ride. We just get kicked out the back here. Let me see, I did say there's this really weird, technically unused thing down here. It looks for a flag, but nothing in the game seems to ever set it from what I've seen. Let's Magic. Oh no, I'm sorry, no G, just a J. M-A-J-I-K, magic. And that will let us actually go through this, and Lord help you if you don't, because this is just a maze. The forest at least makes it easy to see where you've been, and it's, and it's not really a maze with a lot of dead ends. But if you don't have this, like, secret flag set, this is just a wall. Rook examines the old aged tree but finds nothing unusual. Acting on some strange magic. That's our magic with a J and a K. The tree begins to shake. Rook puts his hand to it, and it subsides. And instead is a fresh patch of grass. Green forest, I see. And I guess, actually, no, it is faster to go this way. And that gets rid of the, the barrel of rocks and reveals a secret passage to this strange place. A great song, though. Now replaced by horrible duplicator sounds. Don't touch the magician's bed. Or his staff, I'm assuming that's what that is. Alright. What's your deal, magician? Behold my late great invention. Oh no, it died. It can duplicate anything. I'll let you use it, but only for a price. I want your score. Take the score or take a hike. Take a hike. Okay, so we can opt in whenever we like. Alright, what do we get here? Excellent. I'll extract it from you right now. A lot of blank lines for some reason. Okay, score is gone. Let's do a separate save. I don't know if this is worth it. I'm assuming we can get, like, infinite supplies. Okay. So for five arrows, we can get infinite ammo. That's nice. And, oh, infinite money, too. All right, then. No, this is worth it. Again, this is, like, unused. I'm not sure what the intent was. It's obviously more elaborate than just, like, a debug room for testing. Emergency deactivation switch. I think that's just gonna... Yeah, don't do that. There's, okay, there's duplicators in the big machine, so we're always going to get that noise. Lovely. 
but you know what? I guess I'm... This actually means infinite health and gems and score, so... Good. Now I don't need to buy food. Or alternatively, now I can buy all the foods and we can compare the foods. And let's see, yeah, who's this in the corner here? Person. Just a guy. Well, I can't shoot. I think that'll be plenty. I'm not too worried about our gems, because I'm pretty sure eventually we'll like lose them all anyways for story reasons. And I'm really unsure if this counts as cheating. I don't know what- the flag just never gets set. I'm not sure what the plan was there. And eventually you won't be able to return here either, so... I don't know. I'm unsure what the deal is. Uh... Oh, the green one's the pup, then. Let's, what else can we buy? Oh, that's right! Time's advanced, so now there's a new band on stage. It's fantastic. Talking about the, the blues and their shoes. It might even snow. Before they go. a strong commitment to all this extra dialogue. Alright. Some brandy. Oh, well, no, that actually made me lose health. The rook is a lightweight. Fun. Scarfing down the mud. Wine. Can I handle my wine? No. Rook drinks a mouthful of wine and immediately spits it out. This is awful, he tells himself. Oh, did they give up on their music? But they're still singing? Cheese? Rook eats the cheese in a few seconds. Not to his surprise, he is all but full. Rook is a big cheese guy. Bread. Bread is too stale. This guy. Alright, and steak surely is gonna be like a big health boost, I would hope? Yeah. Rook devours the steak. He pats his stomach approvingly after finishing. Alright, so that's our source of health for sure. Just eat multiple steaks. And cheese. Alright, we're, we're in much better shape now, actually. And it's all thanks to infinite money. Oh, I never even read the sign. Where are we going? Lord Charles Graham Boren's estate. Sure enough, it's very fancy looking. It's massive. Big as the rest of the town. There's even a gardener trying to prune the trees. Can we help? I guess we can. Their little water little water feature out in the yard. Welcome to the estate of Lord Charles. He set up a museum, especially designed for the public inside. Continue north to go see it. So, I only know this because of the old Closer Look article I did on this, but apparently you can shoot these guys. And they will rightfully call you an assassin. And then they lock the door, so, like, you can't beat the game if you do that. So, don't shoot random guards for no reason? Because otherwise they're friendly. Get some more beautiful checkerboard floors. Potted plants. Alright, oh, well, we don't have a green key. Oh, that's not even a, a regular green door. Rook won't tamper with the door while the clerk is watching. I thought they said north to the museum. Oh, okay. We missed the tour. So we have to wait for the next one, then. Anything else we can do in here? Not go this way. Well. At least it is. 
Apparently, these tour guys like their privacy. Seven locked doors block the way. So if you've been wondering why we've been going all over the place collecting seven keys, it's to open the bedroom where the tour guides live? Yeah. An, an odd framing device for this, for sure. We still need two of these keys. I did give myself a refresher on where they are. One of them is actually in the manor. I'm actually not sure what I need to do to be able to get in there. But the other is actually way back in this cave that we started at. Hello, welcome. You're, you're just in time for us to go inside a scary cave. Actually, it's not that scary. I turned on the lights last time, didn't I? Yeah. So, in addition to having a really awkward boulder puzzle up top that's no longer here, and this thing that just instantly eats you, you can also kill it. And if you do this at the start of the game, when you have barely any ammo, you might be in trouble because it's kind of just... A cave of blood now. You've got enough ammo to get out, but it's very easy to get stuck there, obviously. And there's people living down here. Oh, my liege, someone approaches from the cave. They just run into a wall. Hello. What do we got here? I am the priestess, Lena. You are in the temple of the goddess Venus, goddess of love, virtue, and beauty. We are peaceful and do not wish any harm, but others do not feel the same of us. You must have slain the monster in front of the entrance, otherwise you would not be here. It was a servant of Aprithia, keeping people away from the temple. Aprithia is a demon, and an evil one at that. Once he sought conquest, but brave men stopped him and imprisoned him somewhere in this world. The servants of Aprithia once again actively search for their master. I do not know the full reason for them cutting us off, but I feel you deserve an award. Here are some gems. Another servant of Aprithia, the Mothingos. Oh no, I'm sorry, the Monthingos? I guess they spell it slightly differently. Locks any exit to our hidden escape. His evil fumes waft up from the caverns below, killing my priests. Stinky, apparently. We cannot stand this evilness because of how close we are to Venus. We need a hero to go down and kill the Monthing Ghosts. Otherwise, we will die. I ask you, brave soul, to do this for us. So we get a nice little quest here. Any questions? What is the Monthing Ghost? And got Megazooks? Because we are not escaping that, that's for sure. Of course. All right, tell us what this horrible beast is that's not quite named after the author. Although now I'm really worried. Oh my god, I've been saying Mothingos for like 20 years. It is Mothingos. Are you kidding me? That's the name. What's the text file? About moi. Man. This whole time. Why did I never notice this? I can't believe that. I have to like double check the article later. I I bet I spell it as Moth and Ghost the entire time. It is, but like I mean everybody likes moths. Moths are great. But the Month and Ghost is a wall of I do not know. It has four eyes, and it's said to have a priest of Aprithia embedded in its flesh. It also It also I also I also know that a great person named himself after this beast. Okay. Cute. Any questions? Same questions. Okay, actually, I think the ammo situation might be good if I can just have this. We have all these pure ivory arrows given to us for offerings, but we've never used them before. You may take them if you wish. 40, 40. So, okay, so that's like 200 right there.
actually, hang on. <clears throat> yep, yep, I have it spelled wrong on the sidebar here because I hand wrote the author's name. Anthigos. I'm never going to get over this. Uh, let's see, it's, it's, there we go. Now we're accurate. I'm practicing my blessing techniques. I'm not really a priest, but I'm trying to become one. Here are some sticks I blessed. They'll burst into flames when it's dark. That is the best definition of a torch I've ever seen. you a lot of them and there's not that many dark boards certainly not enough to need hundreds of, of sticks touch this orb and make a wish your will is strong enough it will grant your wish okay ah yes more arrows more stamina more torches more keys so this is another spot where you soft lock the game if you don't wish for keys Rook touches the orb and makes his wish out of thin air a key appears that's our purple key. Oh, can I keep wishing? Okay. Whoa. That good? Oh, okay. Oh, you can just infinite wishes. All right. What a strange way to do this, but okay. Oh, I see. These are just... This is the dead priest room. This is where the dead priests are, I guess. Alright. Obviously, he could not stand the evil emancipating from the cave. Well, let's put our cool sticks to good use. Oh, hey, there's the, the spider. Is this... Good lord. Oh. Ung. The evil is defeated. Oh, so we do... Hmm. Hang on. We have a full set of keys now, but we have this door also. Oh. You again. Um... Again, green keys for green keys. This isn't gonna go well. Come on up. He's not going to, he's just gonna... No? Oh, where'd you go? There we go. Okay, that actually did go well. Right, okay, this is still going on, huh? Oh, got him. This is just how Sivian works. At least it's firing a lot slower now. Oh. I see. You. Oh, that's just an evil priest. Oh, oh, lord. Okay. See, all this time, like, I thought it was just like... Alright, we have Owied the Priest. Just a deliberate thing to not use his own name for the monster's name. Ah, uh, I'm assuming we got a flag for that. Maybe? You don't have a green key. And if I get a green key as a reward, I'm going to be very upset.
Well, the evil is defeated. Wow, it's a good thing I did wish for health, actually. My thanks to you. Our goddess Venus has been watching you. All we can offer is her protection in your time of need. Now, with the evilness gone, we are free to bury our dead and continue our worships. Thank you once again. I have never actually played the Cannes series. I have played, like, nothing of Megazooks. This is a lot of blood. Okay. It should, in theory, be possible to get enough arrows to do that from the start of the game. Alright, so hopefully that advanced the time, or did something, because the manor is the only place we haven't done everything yet. Uh, I guess I can buy some steaks, actually, real quick. Let's just spend all our money on steaks. Oh, the music's restarting now. Rook just devours, like, five steaks in five seconds. Then he pats his tummy. That's that's what he does. I like this background music for the game we've got going now. Alright, what's your deal? There we go. Four hours are over, but you can go in and look around the museum if you want. Oh, hey. Well, give me some time. Really gotta run for it. Oh, hey, it's our, our roommate Dulcis from the start of the game who ran off to work and we haven't seen him again. Ancient suits of armor. Interesting statues. Interesting statues that are suspicious. Okay, I've tried touching it several times to no avail. Potted plants. Lots of statues and art. Oh, are these paintings up top? Can we get a nice description? No, just a painting. It's been long enough that I don't know which of these two people is Stolsis. Let's see. Nope, that's Jamon. Hi, Jamon. Hey, Dol. I've had a long, interesting day today. Yeah. Oh, what's happened, buddy? You seem a little tense. Actually, not much. Only that I've been attacked three times by Prithians, that's all. A Prithians? Here in Bespin, we've got to alert the police. Uh-oh, here comes one of my co-workers. Hush. Sorry to interrupt, but the boss needs you very badly. You'd better hurry. Okay. I wonder if I was supposed to run in there. Oh, okay. And so we've got a wild goose on our hands. Now what do you want? You can cancel plan one. One of the scouts found it. What? Where? Tell me now before I slit your throat. Buddy, calm down. Out in a troll hideaway in the north of the Arkwood. Finally, with this we can wake the master and rule the world. We must make haste. Oh, uh-oh. Busted. I just got called a little shit. Um. Hmm. Spoiler alert, our roommate is evil. Yeah. The game really dumps the story on you. It, it just... Does not happen. We advance the plot in like zero ways other than a Prithian seemed to be after Rook in the first video we did of this. You're gonna pay, but not right now. Lock him up in the storage room. Alright, spy man. Damn. Can't get away with this. I'll kill you. You don't know what you're up against, dear friend. Now stop wasting my time. Throw him in. 
Your mood of despair turns into a mood of hope as you notice in the far corner some useful items. Alright, I remember this part is also kind of janky, if, if you can believe it. So yeah, in the storage room. These, I believe, are actually energizers. Yep. I think that bomb is actually a bomb also. Looks through the peephole, but can only barely hear the conversation from inside due to the loud, loud energizer theme. And so, Dijon, what exactly do you ask for this? Suddenly, the man in the back pulls out a knife, ready to stab Lord Charles. Dijon gl glances up at the man briefly. With some alarm, Rook tries to push the wall down. The peephole flies forward, and the rest of the very weak wall collapses in a pile of rubble. What? Who the hell are you? Get him, Dijon. All right, monkey boy, face my magic daggers of death. Oh, oh, I see. Well, this is what the energizers are for. So. Is that it? Is that good? I mean, the magic daggers are still going a bit. Everything seems to have... Oh, no, okay, here. Shoot. I got the same message twice and was worried it was just... There we go. You may have beaten me, but you'll never stop our plans. My Master Dulces have something in store for the whole world. Ha! Ah! Damn you! Well, I am not to be beaten so easily. Oh. So you just... Oh! That's funny. Just an arrow I fired in advance happened to hit this guy. So this is what the bomb is actually for. It's very easy to see a bomb in the corner and think, ah, I will blow up the wall with it. But if you do that, you can't win here. And if this guy won't go near me, I also won't be able to win. Is that... Some very interesting coding. Um... There we go. Okay, so they keep their distance. But that's in the bottom in the corner. How am I supposed to reach him? Who's right? Just a regular bomb? Yeah. Okay, so that's bad. Will, will he move if I shoot? No. What am I supposed to do? I think I was supposed to not have him hug this wall and now it's impossible to get him to turn around? Like, yeah, wow, okay. Great game. There we go. Okay, so you gotta be very careful in this game. No, you get up here. Thank you. Just stand by that bomb. Ah, my protective magic! Now you will pay dear- whoa, okay. Traitors in my estate. What goes on that'll lose my ears, Rook? Tell me what you can. Not quite sure. Let me investigate in Dulce's room. Oh, and try to wa watch your back more often. Okay. So at least our Charles is our new friend now. Ah, yes, well. Dulce lives with the rest of the tour guides in a room across the hall up a set of stairs. He lives with us. That's how the game begins. With him. In our house. He usually keeps it locked with a key, so here's this duplicate key that I keep just in case I need to go through any of his possessions, just like now. Oh, thank goodness, Lord Charles. Now hurry. I wish to know what is underfoot around here. Alright, now we have our actual seven keys. And I guess you could just skip this part if you don't do the Mothing Ghost quest. Mothing Ghost. Moth? Month Egos quest. Because all that was to get a green key and advance the story so you could go here and get a different green key. Can't go in the bedroom. What did you find? Um, nothing yet. I think this takes us to the main lobby? Yeah. Okay. Boy, it would have been cool if those guards, like, rushed in while their employer was, like, being attacked by an assassin. Alright, we are... We're 
gonna get the actual story here. Rook rips open the chest and uncovers a parchment titled Plans. He begins to read. Plan 1. Make Vestman a ghost town. This is so well documented. Objective. To make search of land more unnoticed and unhindered. Action. Raids. Introduce monsters. Etc. Plan 2. Stake out where Prithia is dormant. I mean, to be fair, there's seven locked doors protecting this chest. Objective, to carry out plan three. How? Place 1,000 scouts around Bespin after plan one. 10 scouts during plan one. Plan three, awaken a Prithia. Objective, use his power to rise an army and begin conquest. Plan four. How? You spell refer... You spell refer to subplan. Okay, I... Rook puts the plans into his pouch and grimaces... What else? What else? The old pine chest and it covers a couple of skulls, explosive devices, and 100 gems. I hope we're taking all of those. The chest is telling me to get lost. Okay. Back to Lord Charles, then. I don't know what he's going to tell me about this, other than, dang, that sucks. What did you find? Oh, I didn't mean to touch the chair. I found these. Lord Chuck looks over the plans. Quick, show this to the police. They must know about this. Okay. Uh, this one is the jail, right? Hello, I'd like to report... Yes, claim arrest, I guess. Here's some evidence. Oh, nope. Sorry, boy. I can't go trancing about on these make-believe quests. I've got donuts to eat. Okay, I'm the hero in Sivian. Anyways, ah. Where do I go, though? I think it's somewhere this way. The game's really not giving us any guidance. Ah, there we go. Remember Bam? Bam's dead. Stranger, come and kill us all. And away they go. We have to walk this stupid little ping pong path one more time. So all the trolls are gone now, I guess. Here we are. This is here in the crypt of the Dremestade. Legend has it that this is the crypt of all the ancient kings. The crypt was disturbed long ago to lead the revenge of the spirits. Oh. Oh god, there's just like invisible things. I think spinning guns. I think that was a ricochet sound. Oh, and now an invisible maze. One of the flashing variety. Oh, okay, you did disable shooting. Uh, so I, I was really hoping when it became a breakable wall for the flashing effect. That I could just shoot this. We don't need to do this in the dark, too. Ooh, actually, that's painful. Yes, we do. That's just flashing bright white light. The easiest way to get people to not cheat in your game is to make it painful to do so. Oh, lord. I don't know why I didn't just zap. We saw the objective. I'm assuming that's what that was. Okay, this is promising. Maybe. Oh wow, that really was like the whole way. Good lord. Alright. Oh. 
I don't, I guess that's a door. Whoa. I should have bought some steaks. They made it seem urgent. Oh boy. Yeah, let's just get this out of the way now. This, this isn't going to happen otherwise. These tigers are way too angry. Oh my goodness. They're everywhere. I stop shooting. That's a goblin. Oh my goodness. Okay. I just don't want to hit that button constantly during this horrible shootout. Wow. Okay. The goblin is down. What are, what are these? Ogres. Okay. They seem pretty harmless, actually. Do they, like, punch you? They crunch you. I like the animation on them, though. Both when they attack and when you shoot them. I don't know who this is. This is the thing with the the latter part of Sivian. It just really feels way less developed. I see you've matched wits with my band of ogres. We won't find me so easily beat. Oh, come on. I don't need stars. The pain. Yes. That's how I feel. Great. Okay. More caves. Bridge rocks! Where there are bridge rocks, there must be bridge. Hook reaches into his pack and gets out the ropes that he bought from Jacobs. Carefully, he ties the ropes together to form a bridge and throw the other end across. The hooks at the other end latch firmly on the bridge rocks. That's what they're for. Imagine having to turn around at that point and buy that. Oh, the magician's back. You remember me, don't you? Never mind. I just came to tell you to watch out for the next cave and to use these handy enchanted arrows. Oh, and here's some stuff. Now bye. You are too late. I have already chanted the spell that will wake and bind my master to me. I will destroy you before you can even think. Whoa, I'm getting destroyed. Hang on, maybe I shouldn't save. Yeah, the lightnings. That takes care of one pain in the neck around here. Now it won't be long. Oh. I did get lightninged. Um, okay, actually I'm surrounded by objects, so this would be a soft lock normally. Can I just... No, hmm, okay. That's not good. What am I missing here? We get to do some research. And I'm probably gonna end up spoiling a bunch of stuff because all these boards are named for the lock. Let me see if I can find this in the file viewer instead. Okay, I'm in the caves. This is board number 37.
I tried, dang it. I'm I'm not counting. Okay. What's your deal? If spell, then send reflect. Okay. So I need the magic spell. That tracks. Where do I get the magic spell? Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, dear lord. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Get out of here. Uh, just go somewhere we've been. Good enough. Oh. Centipede. Rough game. All right, so we're actually going back to the magician. I'm just, I, how do you get there normally? I don't recall getting stuck the last time I played this like this. Need more help. All right, I'll give you a magic scroll only after you've completed the three trials. They're very difficult and require a great deal of patience. My favorite things to hear. Behold! Into the caves? No, okay, into this. It's a neat idea. Ooh, mirrors. Upstairs at his reflec reflection. The mirror suddenly shatters. Glass shards fly into Rook's exposed face. Or exposed a face. One particularly large sharp piece gouges out Rook's eyes, a stabbing into his brain. Faintness comes over Rook. Good God. I'm very slowly dying here. Okay, well. What about the other ones? Do they all do this? That's just a nicer mirror. That one's a scowling mirror. Hang on, that one is named, yeah, Evil Mirror. Oh. Are these the trials? Okay, what if I try this other one? Let's his finger drag over the mirror. Suddenly a strange pulling sensation comes over Rook. A feeling of peace and serenity comes over him. An evil skull-like apparition appears in the mirror, and a gaunt mirror image of Rook steps out of the mirror. Okay, so Shadow Rook. Whoa. Um, just, yeah, okay. You force yourself back into the firing Yang you created. Instantly it fades. This took a very bizarre turn all of a sudden. I guess that's one trial. Welcome to your doom. You will spend the rest of eternity wandering lost in the maze. Never do find the exits. More, more maze. And a bunch of fake... Goals. Oh, that's even meaner. All right, we don't need that. And let's just assume that that works. Great, I got through Z maze. Now you shall see an untimely death in my personal. Who is this? Shade. Okay, you can't...
Good God. Why is the magician making me do this? Oh, that was... okay. No, I just skipped Z maze. I already did one maze tonight. We don't need to do a second one just because it's blue. Yeah, all magicians are jerks. That's just kind of their deal. I'm back! What was that all about? Excellent! You have proven yourself most worthy! I now hand you the ancient scroll of the spell Reflect. It will become necessary to use the spell later in your quest. Now I bid you farewell. Right. Well, as long as we're here... I think the mirror self was at least an okay idea. The, the instant death one, less so. Oh boy. Right, well. Well, I guess it'll have a check mark. Let's see if I can reasonably find something close to where we left off. That's a good one. So you can see why I never beat this game as a child, and I don't think anybody else actually did either. Because imagine if I had to walk all the way back, find this spell, and then do this again. It would not be pretty. Okay. Ah, my power! Deflected back at me! I see my guards needs help, yes. Alright. So, it's just infinite ruffians, why not? Are you... Do I just shoot you a hundred times, or do I have to defeat all the ruffians? What's the... What if I touch you? seem to be doing anything, though. God. Okay, what do I do here? Let's see here. Dulces. I see my guards need help. If not any ruffian, then act. How are you supposed to... Again. I... You just kind of gotta hope that the ruffians block the spot where they spawn? Because obviously the alternative is just tanking a million hits, but like... These ruffians are just doing their own thing.
Oh. He actually doesn't do anything if you just stand there. That's right. Never mind. I made this way harder than I needed to. <laughs> this is entirely my own doing, actually. This is not a good boss fight idea, but it is doable. I just need this one ruffian to cooperate. Please. Please move south. Uh, not that far south. To the east, yeah! Drat, my servants! Now you must face my wrath! There's just something about boss fights in ZZT that it took like a decade before people realized, hey, what if these were like, playable? from him? Yes, okay. Right, there's just... This ain't fun. I'm sorry if you really have to watch this. are not helping. They never do. I have a feeling that you can only actually hurt him when he's a smiley face and not, like, traveling, but... Alright. It's difficult to time this. Yeah, because I think if you just shoot him at another time, it just kind of, like, hangs for a minute. Okay. Will this work? works. I'm curious what I wrote in that article, because I don't remember having to do this. I would have been a lot more upset with this game. I guess you can kind of time it like that. Okay, yeah, he only does the smiley face form here. Okay, that's a little better. I'm slowly figuring this out. No more child's play. I can feel my master awakening. Farewell, mortal world. That was... As intended. Anyways, on to the next boss fight. I've watched my servants from my slumber, and I have watched you. Now for your toils, you shall die. Oh. Okay, okay. Stop. It's spelled health wrong. At least to be fair, like, the game does say that, like, oh yeah, these things are Aprithian assassins every time. So it's it's fitting. I'm gonna just do a little cleanup while I have this all frozen in place. Whoop. help a little. Okay, it's not infinite ruffians. It's just bulk ruffians. 
And when you make ruffians with ZZT Oop, it just uses the, the default stats, so they're not even, like, good ruffians, they're just... They just wander aimlessly. So it's more tedious to fight them than anything else. This incredible game. Why is there slime? Oh, that's right! I remember this. My ammo is being drained. I can't. I can't clear this without arrows. Okay. Now he did say clear this. I am very worried that I literally have to clear the board here. If y'all, you know, want to get a glass of water, do a stretch. Feel free. I think this might take a minute or two. You gotta like be smart about them too, because these ones up here you can't even push out. How do you push like any of these? Um How are you supposed to get the whole board here? Normally, if I ran into this in a game, I would say, well, surely they don't actually want you to, like, destroy all the breakables. That would be not fun in any way, but there's no way it's anything other than this. Yeah, these ones are all just stuck up here. This side? Kinda. What I should be doing is this. Right. There are 1500 tiles on a ZZT board. Most of them right now are breakables. I mean, I can just cheat for ammo and do some shooting too. Are these gonna reach at all? I think these ones up top are like completely a lost cause. Hello, you have chosen the worst time imaginable to join the stream. This boss fight drained all our ammo, filled the room with breakable walls, and now we have to destroy all the breakable walls. This is Sivian, and it's wall clearing ways. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. God, I want to make sure I get. Okay. I think I'm good. Like, I think I will actually be able to do this, but I don't want to do this, and nobody should do this. We're more than halfway through. You know what? Y'all can get an ad break.
I'm sorry for anybody watching the, the recording of this right now. You, If I didn't put a link in the description to when this is over and done with, you can yell at me. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Again, all-time classic. Phenomenal game. Oh, actually... I need to get some of these bombs... down. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I can just do this. Oh, that's not gonna help. Okay, we're we're actually good. <sighs> it's a classic for the first twenty minutes. Also, after the first ten minutes, where you're like inputting a password to be able to play it. This game does a lot of like really detailed and neat stuff. Amazing! You have cleared my bulk. Now I destroy you myself, and the whole time I draw your life energy because this game will not give you a break. Okay, yes, the enchanted arrows. I'm glad we held on to those. But, like, exploring Bespin and doing the little shop thing and going to the graveyard and digging stuff up, like, there's all sorts of fun things to do at the very beginning of the game. But as soon as the plot actually kicks in, it just turns into this. This is a Prithia. It turns out our roommate is evil and has summoned this former conqueror or something. But we've got enchanted arrows. What do you mean this isn't working? It better be working. Yeah, see? It's fine. This is just really trying to turn, like, ZZT Oop into frightening boss fights. No! This is where the main differences of Sivian ZZT and Sivian Megazooks begin. Although you are about two-thirds through the game on the ZZT version, if you were playing the Megazooks version, you would be about one-fifth done. Now continue on. I can't. I'm surrounded by water. Hello there. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jacob. I sort of followed you. What are you doing out here? Oh, the usual. Trying to save the world. Can you get me out? Save the world? Whatever. I can get you out with this little device. I just happened to purchase. Here. Let me activate it. I slash I slash I slash I. There. Now I'm gonna go home. Thank you, Jacob. Rook wipes the sweat of his brow to see that he is finally out of the caverns. But to his surprise, he is startled to see a series of explosions ahead. Ha ha ha, watch my powers at work. Nice little fireworks, but you'll still have to deal with me. What? Oh, it's just you. I see you got out of my little trap. Not like it matters. Oh, it matters. I'll kill you this time. I won't dilly-daddle like I did the last. You bore me. You cannot hurt me with your pathetic enchanted arrows. I have other plans, so au revoir. What a game. This messed up the scenery real bad, huh? As if magic, the entire forest re reappears. Startled Rook looks around. Young Rook, how do you like my little forest? Quite frankly, it looks cheesy and ZZT-like. This game hates itself. Oh, shut up. It's not like we're in Megazooks. You got a point. Look, I tried that enchanted arrow thing. I nailed the SOB several times with those enchanted arrows, and yet he turned around and just laughed. Any suggestions? Oops. Must have messed up on the spell. Looks like you have to give them to him, and if he accepts, then you can shoot him with his all-time weakening effect. Garlic arrows. Garlic. That's corny. 
and he won't take the enchanted arrows. Look, I don't have to hear your complaining. I've got a dinner appointment, and you've wasted all my free time. So if you'll excuse me... Oh, he's a lot of health. Now I've got to find an escaped evil guy, find garlic, and give him a bunch of arrows. Jeez. Yeah, so we are now in the back half of the game. And yeah, like, the, the tone of this game is going to shift entirely. This is the new normal. This kind of dialogue. Rook was always kind of a jerk before, but now he's just like a brooding teenager, I guess. Game still looks good though when it wants to. Until I push these boulders around and break everything, but like, this looks great. This looks like a classic. It was a wonderful castle. All right, so what, what are these two all about? They appear to have weapons drawn already. Can't enter. Die. Why? Where have you been? Mainly on the other side of the mountains. Although lately, I've been in a cave. This is Daraquin, stranger. But I cannot let you enter. And why is that? Well, since you've never been here before, I'll tell you. An army is massing in the desert, and intelligence reports that they plan a siege on our castle. But they won't breach our defenses. We've got a crossbow. You identify the attackers. Rumor has it it's those damn Aprithians. Every time. All right, get on with it. The Kingdom of Sivian. Now we know why it's called that. They set up here. They can set up an attack. They can take out the capital, Paladish. But we can take them. But not against an inside job. Nor against Catalyst magic users. Oh no, not Catalyst magic users. We've got to relay the message. Sorry. But with the gate closed, we can't say anything more than you can. Maybe I'll find a different way to get the message in. Good luck. Alright, so they just kicked out these guards. Ping pong path for the hell of it. this the way? Well, somebody's asleep. Oh, everybody's asleep. Sleeping soldiers. Nice chest. Oak chest. Creaky chest. Okay, alright. I, I can take the hints. Rook feels a draft when he gets near the chest. He tries to move the chest aside, but it won't budge. Finally, he smashes it. I mean... Oh. I guess they're very heavy sleepers. Oof. Rick steps in the ancient passageway, readying himself for anything that comes along. So at this point, everything like from here onward, I have only ever seen the one time I actually did finish this game. Oh hey, lions. So I really don't remember much about this part. I'm going to be quite surprised by a lot of things for sure. Yeah, the cobwebs are nice. Uh, I... Well, let's see what else is in here. Oh, you're right. They are trolls. My bad. We gotta keep ourselves immersed, even if this game is cheesy and ZZT-like. Okay, so that was pointless. Let's try up here. More dragons. I, I hope this leads into the town. I'm very worried that I was supposed to go the other way first now, though. So the green door, uh, blue door. 
Okay, so yes, I went the wrong way. Oh, hey. Oh, if you're gonna be like that. Alright, we'll try the other path. Still a nice looking board, at least. It's over here, then. Yes, this. This, I remember. It's a cobra. Who are you? Nice talking cobra. Shut up. Who are you? Fred. From the Fred series. Tasty little Fred. This may prove to be an appetizing meal. Especially with a light wine. Not. Why not someone else? Or a favor. I have no meat. I have a pretty gem. Okay, so. All the gems, some of the gems, none of the gems. Does this just get us killed instantly? Yes. Good sound effect. We get poisoned, we get squeezed, we get devoured. The end. Some gems? Ah, uh, he's got the sixth sense and still kills me. That's one of, yeah, the lung bites. They'll get you. Alright. All of our gems. 141 gems. Error! Sorry, game's busted, actually. E, this... The Cobra doesn't work. My bad. But we're supposed to give them all of our gems. Let's see. Do I write down why? Oh, actually, okay. I found the correct spot. Yeah, so there's, there's, apparently he wrote, take gems, one, instead of, or no, I'm sorry, that's right. Uh, he made the mistake of the loop of using the label go, and then he just runs the go, and ZZT thinks, ah, the go command for moving, for going. So it doesn't work. You end up losing one gem, and then you just have to cheat. So I'm sure there's some other dialogue, but... I'm not going to dig through all these identically named boards to find it. Okay, there we go. We'll just do that. Actually, we're going to have to cross a couple of times. Goodbye. Perfect game, no issues. You just can't win. Bazaar! Inside! Great wares, exceptional merchandise! This is a cave. This is not a bazaar. It's a good sign. Oh, windy path. This is a pretty straightforward cave. Okay. Rook stops to observe two oddly colored and shaped tents in the cavern ahead. Was that what? Oh. No, okay. There's. It's very colorful, actually. Let's see, to the right. Ooh, flashy gems. Flower for sale! Oh, we're buying it. Would you like to buy a wheel? A wheelbarrow to carry it in. Would you like to rent a man to push your wheelbarrow? Sure. Would you like some shoes for your rent-a-man? <laughs> this is good. And would you like enough already? Toll comes to about 4,000 gems. Pay up. 
Never mind, I don't want any flour. That's okay. I don't want to sell you any. These two have great chemistry together, actually. One firecracker, ten gems. What do I need a firecracker for? Never mind. No. So, we are supposed to be broke right now, too, is the thing. I'm not supposed to have any gems. I was supposed to give them all to a cobra. Would you like a magic gem? Yes. Hey. How much and what do they do? Two gems for ten gems. And as for what they do, even I don't know the answer to that. Oh, okay, we did pay money. I thought they were just handing them out. Rainbow torches? Beautiful torches for beautiful people. Buy one, sir? Yes, absolutely. That's a good line. And a loan shark. I don't need to borrow money, actually. I will just sweep myself. Would you like to purchase a map? One map left of the area for 10 gems. Okay. Let me show you something. On this map to the east is a vast desert. The shifting sands will confuse a traveler and lead them in circles, but I know a safe route here. I should probably be writing this down, but I don't think we're going to do this in this part. We're definitely doing a third part. First head east, then head over to the north, and then this is tricky. Head east, and then turn back west. This is absolutely going to be a desert maze. With that in mind, Rook puts the map away. So we didn't actually get to look at a map. And we also have this lone shark who I'm supposed to actually do stuff with, so why not? How much money do I want to borrow? I mean, 4,000 is enough for the flower and all the fixins. One million dollars? I only lend that much out to business partners and friends. Hundred thousand. I'm assuming 10k is the same. 4,250 seems oddly specific. 50? Okay. This guy is just making us play guess the number. 500 gems, surely. Well, what a great prompt. 4,250 gems it is. Here's the deal. I want all the gems plus 10% interest the next time I see you, or we might have a little problem on our hands. And now go. So we are now officially in debt, and this will be plot relevant. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, the gems, the magic gems. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that was necessary. Well, at least we, we knew what we were coming for here. Beautiful torches for beautiful people. I'm going to spend all my money on beautiful torches. That marketing campaign just works too well on me. Uh, it costs 10 gems to buy two magic gems, so... It's not good. We can still buy more stuff. Gold key, ruby key, emerald key. Okay, I, I think we can see where this is going. 4,250 gems. Oh, I was able to afford more. What else we got? Sharks for sale? Beautiful sharks for beautiful people? Fresh fish, <clears throat> trout, salmon, swordfish, or we quit. We can buy a shark. It is fresh. I can't afford it now. We're gonna have to pass on this. Beautiful ammo. Super pack of arrows. Deluxe pack of arrows. I don't know how I feel about fake shopping options in this game. Ten arrows, four hundred gems. My God. One arrow, 40 gems. No thanks. Security system? I'll sell you this nice security system for only a million gems. Okay, how does it work? You use this panel. This button starts it. This button stops it. This button blows it up. 
Rook? No. <sighs> this guy. That's how I feel about Rook. Hello, I'm supposed to look like the author. Do you agree? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, shopping. The iron key, the sky key, the gem key. I mean, I guess I'll just... Okay, I guess guess gotta be nice. Well, it took us like an hour and a half to get seven keys before, and now we've got six more. So I think we're done here. I think we will get inside the fortress, and I think that'll be a great spot to call it for tonight. Maybe next time we'll we'll finally wrap this up. That would be a powerful a powerful move. I mean, in my opinion, you should sell beautiful torches to beautiful people. I get to do this other cave again. Also, yes, tell them that. Tell them they're only one. Th they're one third of the way through. How far are we here? Sixty-four percent, according to this. I have no idea how accurate that's going to be here, but. I don't think this game has any STK boards left over in it. I'm pretty sure that number is fairly accurate. Now, okay, so we got right there's a couple of doors here. If this leads inside, I'm just gonna call it. That looks like a lot. This one. More caves. You know what, let's just call it here and we can explore all this stuff next time. I have no idea how long any of these sequences are going to last otherwise. And yet here I am, walking to this guy. Right, well, okay. Make a nice named save so I don't accidentally delete it later. Alright. That's a... Uh... More of Sivian. We we defeated. Well, we didn't defeat a Prithia. We just kind of made him run away for a moment. We learned the truth about our roommate. That he keeps all his plans written down in a chest. We got stopped by a broken snake. We bought some beautiful torches. And we got one hell of an awful boss fight. Actually, it's uniquely awful too. I think it's very very modern in that sense. It's not just like 10 million stars. Oh, oops. I guess I shouldn't just leave ZZT running when there's centipedes around. Man. Oh, don't worry. We'll get to the Megazooks version. That's the whole reason we're playing this. For ZZT games with their, their infamous Megazooks ports. And eventually, we'll get started on Sivian Megazooks. Which, again, is significantly longer, according to this. We'll see. We'll get there eventually. But that's going to do it for this week. We'll be back again Sunday with some more wild card stream stuff. Whatever unpreserved things I can find. I already picked my set of games. I did not post. What did I pick? I picked... What was my theme? I had a good theme. Oh, right, right. We're going to be playing some Indiana Jones games, and games about hunting. Which will be interesting, to say the least. But that's going to be Sunday at noon, and we'll be back again with more Sivian next Friday at 6 Pacific, as usual. 
that's going to do it for tonight. Hope to see you all next time. If you enjoy the stream, you know, give me a follow. If, if you're daring, give me a subscription. Follow on Twitch or YouTube as well and catch all these videos, you know, in case you missed the first half of Sivian, which is the good half, honestly. Oh, that's right. No, actually, that's a coincidence. The Harrison Ford chat on the internet, all the buzz, is entirely coincidental. I, I picked these games first thing in the morning. I was just like, you know what? I will play an Indiana Jones game. That sounds like fun. So we shall see. The Dial of Destiny. Uh, one of the, I'll, I'll spoil it now. One of the games we're playing is Indy's Climbing Expedition. And it's incomplete. We're not actually going to go climbing. So don't get your hopes up too much. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, hey, Zin. Do you have anybody you want to raid since the raid raid machine broke last time? If not, I'm gonna pass this over to somebody else. I should have anticipated the stream delay. No, not Fate of Zeebies, unfortunately. Although I should play that at some point. If it runs short, we'll definitely check that one out. Alright, I'm gonna cut off the recording and then we'll figure out this rate situation. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Later.